Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. It is time for our weekly tarot and astrology reading here on this beautiful Sunday afternoon of March the 14th of 2021. And as usual, I am going to go over some Tarot de Marcy trump cards that I picked at random for our upcoming week, followed by some astrology. And as usual, it will be interesting, so do stay tuned. Okay, in a moment, three Tarot de Marse Trump cards from the CBD Tarot are going to come onto the screen and cover my face. The cards I drew for this week are Temperance, the Moon, and the Tower. Ooh, this is a kind of intimidating looking spread. The Angel of Temperance is looking towards the left. She is mixing two cups. We could perhaps see this as blending things together or being flexible as she is bending forward towards the direction of the left which we could also look at as the direction of the past as she is bending she is being flexible so this could be compromising we look at what is behind her oh we have the moon we have confusion we have two hound dogs barking at the man in the moon, a crayfish coming up out of the depths to join the party, so to speak. But there's no humanity here. There's no sense to it. It's just a lot of noise. Then the two dogs become two people falling out of a tower that's being struck by lightning. Oh my God. So this is quite a, quite a disaster that we have laid out in front of us. But here's the thing. This is all avoidable. That's what the lady of temperance is doing the angel of temperance she has turned her back on this now it's interesting when a figured face is left at the beginning of a reading it's not uncommon in Tarot de Marseille practice to pull another card see what that figure is gazing at well if I do that I get the fool the fool is trudging along facing the angel of temperance looking at her being clawed at by a cat or dog type creature that's trying to pull him back or perhaps goad him on. Ah, so she is compromising, flexing, working with the energies of the fool, which tends to be folly and eccentricity. So we have to watch our own folly. We have to watch our own eccentricity this week, our own impulses. They may get in our way, really seriously get in our way. If we do that, there's no problem. We just need to employ good wisdom and carefully blend and mix, be flexible as we go. So looking at the astrology now, this is pretty nice. We just had new moon. Yay! New moon was yesterday, 522 a.m. Yes, and that is great because that is a time now for manifesting, time to plant seeds. Time to move forward, obviously carefully with what we saw in the Tarot, but no, move forward, plant your seeds, start your new projects. Yes, start manifesting abundance, love, healing, prestige, success, whatever it is that you need This is and want. This is the time to go ahead and exactly pursue that. Now, as far as specific days of the week with the planetary rulers goes, uh, not so great, nothing really stands out as being particularly uh, really high powered until we get to next Sunday. Now next Sunday, the 21st, is going to be the spring equinox. The sun enters the first degree of Aries, yay! And it's sitting in the 10th house, which is the house of prestige, the house of employment, and dealing with authorities, what this is exactly what the sun deals with. So if you're looking for a promotion at work, or you're looking to get some kind of honor, or you're dealing with a government situation and you need to overcome, okay, or you just want the favor of the government or authority, next Sunday would be an outstanding day to do it. This is a time of perfect balance, and the sun is exalted in the sign of Aries, so it is very positive, very strong, very, very powerful. 
Well, there you go. There is your weekly tarot and astrology reading. I love you very much. I really do. I do this with love in my heart because I want to. I appreciate your support. Until I see you next week, many, many blessings.